Argo CD version 2.9 is out. This latest release contains a ton of features and bug improvements and updates to the documentation. But in this video, I'm gonna highlight the top three features, in my opinion, of Argo CD 2.9. So in the order that we're gonna demonstrate them, First off is the ability to ignore differences in application sets, similarly to how you can ignore differences in applications. Second is support for customized patches in line of the application manifests. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the ability to dynamically rebalance clusters across application controller shards. Now, if that doesn't mean anything to you, that's okay. We're gonna go through a hands-on example of each of these new features in this video. My name is Nicholas Mori. I'm a developer advocate at Acuity, the company created by the founders of the Argo project. I'll include the full release notes for Argo CD 2.9 in the description down below, along with the link to the repository with these examples so you can try it out for yourself. In Argo CD, application sets are a powerful feature that allow you to generate applications based on a template and generators. However, there are situations where fields in the applications generated by application sets might change due to another process or manual intervention. Prior to Argo CD 2.9, the application set controller would automatically override changes to these fields or you had to limit the application set to only be able to create applications and never update them. A common example of when you might change a field in an application is when you're using the Argo CD image updater with the imperative writeback method. When the image updater changes the image tag for an application, it does so using a parameter override. So essentially running Argo CD app set parameter. But then the application set sees this as a deviation from its desired state, and it'll revert the changes made by the image updater. Or for another example, you may just simply want the application set to create applications and allow your developers to make changes to certain fields on them like the sync policy or the target revision so that they have control over what's running in which environment but the applications are still generated for them dynamically so taking this example guestbooks application set with a list generator that's going to create applications in the dev prod and stage environments we can see that we now have this new block called ignore application differences and in it we specify that the application set should ignore any changes to the target revision on any of the applications and the sync policy on the guestbook dev application. With the guestbooks application set deployed to Argo CD, we can see that it generates three applications here, the dev, prod, and stage. Due to the ignore differences block on my application set, I can go in to my guestbook dev application and do something like disable auto sync on this application. And I can do so so that I can interact with it. Maybe I'm troubleshooting a particular error with this application. And then when I'm done, I can go ahead and re-enable auto sync. However, because I specified in my application set to only allow changes to the sync policy on the guestbook dev application, if I go to the guestbook prod application and I try to disable auto sync, it's going to get automatically reverted and re-enabled because the desired state on the application set is that autosync is enabled. So it's going to revert my changes because I'm not ignoring it for all the guestbook applications, only the guestbook dev one. But what I can do on the prod guestbook is change the target revision because I've specified that the target revision field should be ignored on all of my applications generated by this application set. So if I were to update it to use a tag instead, I could go ahead and save this and the application set would not revert my change. I'm a big fan of this new functionality as I think it provides a good balance between having the majority declarative but allowing flexibility in the environments that should be flexible to the wills of the people deploying those applications. In dev, it's a good option to be able to let your developers pause an auto sync, mess around with the application, and then when they're done, re-enable the auto sync and have it bring back the resources to the desired state in Git with one click of a button. Next up is the support for doing customized patches in line of the application manifest. So Argo CD now supports customized patches in the source.customize.patches field. To start off, let's look at what the equivalent customization file would look like. So in our resources here, we're pulling from the Argo CD example apps repo and we're getting the guestbook deployment. And then we have a patch here to on the guestbook UI deployment, change the container port to use 443 instead of the default 80. In Argo CD 2.9, we can do the equivalent in the application manifest by pulling the 
customized guestbook base customization from the Argo CD example apps repo, and then using the source dot customize dot patches field to target the guestbook UI deployment and update the container port to use 443. Now, any patches that exist in the source will get merged with the patches in the application manifest. But this is just the start of it. The ability to do customized patches in line works really well with application sets too. Now, with application sets, you can dynamically generate customized patches for your applications based on attributes from the application set generators. Taking a look at my external DNS example here, I'm using the cluster generator to create applications for external DNS on every cluster. I'm pulling the customize from the external DNS repo tagged to a specific version. And then I'm using the customize patches field to update the TXT owner ID on the external DNS deployment to use the name from the cluster generator in the patch. So if we jump over to Argo CD, we can see that my external DNS application set has created an external DNS application. We can see that the patch starts out with TXD owner ID and then the template string for the name of the cluster from the cluster generator. And then the application generated by the application set, the customized patch now contains the actual name of the cluster. So for every cluster that I'm deploying external DNS to, I'm dynamically patching the external DNS deployment to set the cluster name on the TXD owner ID flag passed to the external DNS container. This functionality is really cool because it allows you to generate customized patches dynamically based on attributes from application sets without having to maintain a customized patch file for say each of my clusters or each iteration of my application. Next up is the ability to dynamically rebalance clusters across application controller shards. So the Argo CD application controller can become overloaded when managing multiple remote clusters with many resources in them. The solution is to shard the application controller where each one is responsible for one or more clusters, but clusters can only belong to one shard. So the application controller shards have a one to many relationships with clusters, but clusters only belong to one shard at a time. Previously, the shard count was contained in the Argo CD controller replicas environment variable on the application controller stateful set. So adding new application controller shards forced a restart of all the application controller pods. In Argo CD 2.9, this new alpha feature allows you to update the application controller to be a deployment instead of a stateful set. And now the replicas field of the application controller is used to determine the shard count. And when replicas are added or removed, the sharding algorithm is rerun to ensure that clusters are distributed accordingly. In this example, I'm using customize to install Argo CD. I'm pulling the HA manifest from the Argo CD repo at version 2.9.1. And then I'm using a customized component to enable the dynamic shard rebalance functionality. So in my customized component, I have a patch for the stateful set and a new deployment resource. The stateful set patch sets the Argo CD application controller to zero replicas and updates the environment variable accordingly. The deployment resource creates an Argo CD application controller deployment with two replicas. If we look at my application used for managing Argo CD, we can see that the Argo CD application controller stateful set has zero active pods and the application controller deployment has two healthy pods up and running. So the Argo CD application controller deployment relies on a config map to determine the pod to shard number mapping and it includes a heartbeat check-in for those pods. If you look in the Argo CD namespace, you'll see a new config map named Argo CD app controller shard CM. And if we look inside of this config map, we can see that it contains a single key called shard controller mapping and the contents is JSON with an item for each shard that contains the shard number, the controller name, which is also the pod name from the deployment, and the heartbeat time, the last time the application controller pod checked in. And this check-in happens every time the readiness probe on the application controller pod is run, which by default is 10 seconds. So if I rerun it, we can see that the heartbeat time for both shards have updated. Users of the default hash-based sharding algorithm won't see any improvements as clusters will be roughly balanced between the shards. However, for users of the round robin or custom algorithms, a static assignment can lead to unbalanced shards when replicas are added or removed. The dynamic shard rebalance functionality will benefit 
users of custom sharding algorithms the most. A huge thank you to everyone that contributed to Argo CD 2.9, especially Michael Crenshaw for adding two of these features and Ashita at Red Hat for adding the dynamic shard rebalance functionality. If you're interested in more Argo project related content, check out the Acuity YouTube channel where we provide regular updates on Argo CD and cover a wide range of Argo project related topics. If you wanna chat about anything cloud native or GitOps, I'll include a link to my LinkedIn profile in the description and I'm happy to connect. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.